live from Austin, Texas, where doctors recommend you limit your exposure to less than 10 Amiga games per day. It's Retro Pals with Danny and Alex. Hello, Alex. Hey, Danny. How many games are you playing today? Uh, we're playing 14. Well, don't tell don't, ya. don't tell your doctor. Well, I'm not telling my doctor a lot of things, so don't worry. Hi, folks. We're going to have a good time tonight. It's Amiga time. We're going to play some god dang Amiga computer games, many of them from Europe, from faraway lands such as Germany, Ooh. Poland, maybe even Norway. Norway. Uh huh. We're gonna oh, be. Oh wow. We're the we're the globe trotting pals today. I was gonna say we're Mister we're Misters worldwide. Misters worldwide. <laughs> that is who we are. Real quick, I want to thank uh, Caitlin for the sixty nine bits. You know what? We will always have free representation on the show because I'm a co host, baby. Uh, <laughs> but thank you very much. Thank you to JP Ronnie for the. Hold on a second. That is the 35 month resub. Wow, my that's my almost voice is three cracking. years. Thank you. Uh, Ga hi to you too, and thank you to Seraphis King for the four month resub. Really do appreciate it, everybody. Wow, oh boy, mm -hmm. oh boy, we got it. And Devil Ray, thank you very much to Devil Ray for the 33 month resub. Holy shit, Devil Ray says the Amiga was a mistake. I don't know if that's I... putting it mildly, Honey. but <laughs> but thank you all, much appreciated. All right, so the Amiga, uh, this thing has a little bit of our uh, history in our stream. I've tried to cover this the best I can. We got a lot of, a lot of Amiga fans watch this show. They're always like, when are you going to play more Amiga games? I mm -hmm. want to see more stuff from Commodore. The Amiga, man. The best computer system of all time. Mm -hmm. uh, trouble is, Alex and I are Americans. Mm -hmm. We did not grow up with the Amiga. No. So we're kind of limited in our exposure to what we see on other streams, what we see recommended to us. What we see on Nick Arcade. Yeah, yeah. So we've tried to remedy that in the past with our Barbarian streams. Mm -hmm. Like, I can easily pick out Barbarian games, no problem. But there's a whole swath of Amiga games we have not covered. Literally thousands, or at least over a period of decades. Still going. People are still making Amiga games to this very day. So I figure the very best way we can fully acquaint ourselves with the platform, finally, aside from that superficial bullshit we've been doing before, mm -hmm. is to ask our patrons to fill in the gaps for us. Mm -hmm. So we asked them, you request one game. Each patron in our $5 tier got to request one Amiga game for us to play. Mm -hmm. And through that, we get some of the best games, some of the worst games, some of the weirdest. And I think this will be a good representation of the platform overall. I'll feel qualified to talk about the Amiga after today's stream. If I can still talk, that is. Uh, Teasel, we were just taking requests from our patrons, um, but maybe we, we will take some more later. I don't know. But mm -hmm. I, mm -hmm. I think we've got 14 already to go through. Yeah. Oh, man. We got so many to go through. Yeah, that, the thing I said at the top of the show was not a joke. Somewhere after testing around my 10th game for stream appropriateness yesterday, my brain just shut down. I could not do any more. I did eventually finish up the lineup, so I have confirmed all of these are safe for Twitch. Twitch oh cops, God. in case you're watching. Not all of them are what you would consider mind safe. Um, let's <laughs> tread carefully tonight. All right, and a real quick thank you to Speedy Bree for the 18th month resub. Speedy Bree says, Norway! Way. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Did we re oh, real quick? Did we reject any games? Or did we did we not reject any games. Uh, wow. People listened to my pleas to keep things within Twitch's terms of service. Thank you. And yeah, we got a nice, clean, family-friendly batch to play tonight. I, I don't know if it's going to be family-friendly. <clears throat> so my goal is to have a more complete understanding of the Amiga by the time tonight's stream ends. Uh, I mentioned before, neither Alex or I are acquainted with these games, so. If anyone has any historical tidbits or anything that would help put these games in perspective, shout them out. Just scream your lungs out. Uh, this is a place to learn, a place to accept, and hopefully a place to learn to love the Amiga. Let's get started. All right, where are we starting with, Danny? I am going to place this list in alphabetical order. Today we're playing 14 games. Um... Hey, good news. If your game is not played today, that means your game is a platformer and it's going to be featured on Friday's special supersized Mascot Friday Amiga Edition. Okay, how supersized is it? Seven games. That's a lot of games. Danny? So, so I'm already making more work for us even before we start here. <laughs> I'm making the pog champ face. Jesus. <laughs> We're starting off with Alien Breed 3D, suggested by a friend of the show, Kate Libsey. Cool. Uh, do I just start it up? Yeah. Okay. Uh, this one's going to be a little complicated because Danny's got to control the mouse, so... Actually, I don't think I need the mouse. I'll be able to do it with keyboard. Oh, sweet. Yeah, these games use keyboard, mouse, joystick, or sometimes all three. Literally, there's some games that demand you use all three input devices. 
<laughs> this game, I tested it. It's playable with keyboards, so I'm going to give it a shot. This is apparently the Amiga's answer to Doom. Ooh, fancy. This follows up on their Alien Breed ser series. There was three of them. They were 2D shooters. This one's 3D. That's the difference. Rawr! Oh, I love that. Oh, man. Is that a fucking monkey? <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a monkey. Turn it up on our end. There we go. Oh, while the screen is active, you can't use those buttons to turn it up on our end. Well, there we go. So turn it up in the lower right if you will. Okay. I need to be able to hear this. <laughs> you need to be able to hear the hot jams? Uh-huh. Is that better? Yes. Okay, I think that audio level is burr, good. Burr, 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 burr. All right. I think that audio makes me this good. I'll turn it down if I need to, but yeah, I think we're good to go. Okay, I need focus. I gave you focus. Thank you. Let's play the game. This one. Use the gamepad to start the game, and then you switch to keyboard. <laughs> Now, this is lightning round format. We're not going to see more than 10 minutes of any of these games, but hopefully it gives us a nice impression of what they're like. No turning back now. All right. Uh, get in the pit, Danny. Get in the pit, Danny. All right. We are in the pit. All right. And like all Amiga games, it is mostly UI. <laughs> I said K. Oh, wait. No. This keyboard isn't turned on. <laughs> there we go. Okay, the controls are this, are the arrow keys to move, left alt to fire, and space bar to open doors and shit. Okay. From what I've seen, this runs on, well, some pretty beefy, beefy Amiga hardware. Eh. I said, eh. He said, eh! All right, anyone who's familiar with the keyboard controls, Alex Hitcher, there we go. Maybe my space bar doesn't work. Okay. But it's fine. You're Three alive. seconds in, we're being devoured by demon babies. That's all right. I'm used to it. Now there's dedicated buttons for strafing. Mm -hmm. There is mouse or keyboard support. You can't use both at the same time. Of course. And I think one of the keys actually maxes out the screen resolution, but I forgot which one that was. And it'll break the game if I push the wrong key. Yeah, let's not press the wrong key. But this just goes to show, Amiga owners did indeed have their own <laughs> version of Doom. Do you need to press space? Yes. <laughs> I don't think it's space, or maybe that door is locked. Maybe it's locked. <laughs> oh, barrels. I will say, they got the demons right, and they got the exploding barrels right. And that's really all you need to be a Doom clone. Alright, this one's red. I'm guessing we need to find some keys for these. I hear some screaming in the background. That's good, right? Hey, let us in! Hey, we're demons! How you doing, man? How about this door? Okay, want me to try? Yeah. No. <laughs> Hey, this is what you know, though. Usually if you can't go in the door, it's not because of the key, it's because it's locked. Yeah, well, hmm. <laughs> it's, it's alien. Well, hold on. I can fix this. There's key rebinds. Operate door. Space. You see, it's, see that. It says space. It says space. Well, technically it says space, but it says it. It says it. Yeah, those faces are excellent. I especially love the, uh... God, that one guy, I don't know what his name is. Uh, uh, Alien Joe. Yeah, it's Alien Joe. Uh, everyone's like, ah, oh, you gotta press the S, P, and C buttons together at the same time. Fuck's sake. <laughs> it took me a long time to interpret what they meant by RALT. R-A-L-T. That means the right alt. That is your fire ah. key. Good. That guy is Benedict Cumberbatch, for sure. <laughs> well, the game shit itself and broke. Great sign. All right, Great we sign are for off the rest to of the a good start. You know what? I'm going to cut my losses. We got 14 games. You yes, really Amiga Breed 3D looked pretty cool. Someday, I'll figure out how to play it. Next. Okay. Next is... Da, da, da. <clears throat> Next, ah. we have a Apidia from our friend Jampolian. This game is more playable. This is more mine kind of jam. 
right, start her is, up. This is a Danny jam. Yeah. A, a jammy. This is a game you can play with a controller. That's more my speed. <laughs> Don't worry, Kate Libsy. I'm glad I played that. It was cool looking. <laughs> Thank you to the Ultima for the 250 bits. The Ultima says, Aah! You make a good point. Thank you. So this game, like many Omega games, it has jams. But... Even better than that, we discovered before the stream, it has European anime as well. So yeah, you see the, the characters here, and you're like, oh, is this from Japan? It is not. This is from Germany. Mm -hmm. And once you see the intro, you will be very aware that, oh my god, that this is from Germany. Somewhere in the world, in the 20th century. Did we narrow it down enough for you? Nah, it's some time. So we've got the... the hex a oh, is that a... I think that's Elon Musk's kid's name. <laughs> Topical. I'm only, I'm only like two, three weeks behind on jokes, baby. Oh no, not the peace-loving couple. Oh no, they love peace! Oh no! Bees! Not the bees! What happened to my beloved Yuri? Oh no, my Yuri! That face when something happens to your beloved Yuri. Not my beloved Yuri, run! Oh no! My wife Yuri! My wife Yuri got my girl! Real quick, thank you. Oh, it's girl fire. Hold on one second. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm laughing so hard. Thank you, hard. Laser Belt, for 15 months. Caught and beaten. Yes. Uh, I don't like that sequence. It's better than beaten than caught. Yeah. <laughs> thank also, you, thanks to Apricot, Apricot Ghost. Ghost. <laughs> Subscribe for nine months. Oh no, not the Yuri. And thank you to Lady Lena, who subscribed 31 months, who says, Oh no, what happened to my beloved Yowie? <laughs> thank You're you. all thank angels, you, everyone. thank you. So if you had to guess, uh, what would you say this kind of game was? And if I hadn't told you. RPG. Good guess. Actually, it's a bug shooter. Okay! Uh, real quick, thank you to Space Dumpster for the 10-month resub. Space Dumpster says, Bees, and I say... Are... Are you... Are you one of the bees that killed your wife? My beloved Yuri? Yeah, are you one of the Yuri murder bees? Or are you a different bee who's come to, to get revenge? <laughs> well, this game does look pretty cool. It plays pretty well, too. I will say it's a shameless ripoff of the Genesis Classic in Sector X. But aside from that, we could use more bug shooters. Because, like, what, in Sector X, B-52, and that's it? There's... And now a Pythia. Uh, there's another one I'm thinking of. Not the one with biomechanical something. Or bio something. Bio something. Biohazard? No. That's totally different. I'll remember it later. But I remember another bug shooter. I swear. Mushi Himesama. Okay. Oh, that's a classic bug shooter. How could I forget? Perhaps the most well-known one of all time. Oh yeah, you gotta you can't you can't forget huge insect, Danny. Oh right, huge insect. It's right there in the title. B fifty two. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um I just I just God, what is that game? It features music by Whatever. I'll remember later. Are you thinking of biometal? Yes. Or biohazard battle? Yes, yes, that's exactly what I'm thinking of. Thank you, I was losing my mind. I was I was becoming, uh, becoming a. I was turning. I was turning into a bee myself. <laughs> oh, shit. So if I died, would you turn into a bee? Probably. Okay. I think that's how it works. I do the same if anyone in this house died. So turn no into one a died. Bee. Yeah, I would totally turn into a bee. Ah, oh, damn it! And then you spray me with wasp spray, and I would die. Good. So there were several shmups on the Amiga. Both arcade ported and original. They had their own stable of developers who worked in that field. Mm -hmm. The Bitmap Brothers, the, uh, the Polygon Brothers, the Fighting <laughs> Polygon team. <laughs> Thank you to the Ultimo for the 250 bits who says, Mom, Dad, Yuri, please be careful. <laughs> Oh, and thank you very much to Mr. Smiley, who gave out a uh, sub to uh, Comic Chameleon. Thank you so much. This is hard, dude. It's the first level. I know, this Stop is really shooting hard. me. I'm just a normal bee. I'm trying to fit in with bee society. <laughs> yeah, they don't give you many power-ups after you spawn, so in other words, very much in line with the genre. 
Very Gradius influenced. <laughs> I'm glad. <laughs> I'm already getting alerts from people quoting the, the Yuri thing, so that's good on Twitter. Good. Uh, thank you to Simon for the uh, 25 month resub. You appreciate that. Does Galactic Crusader Dandy count as a bug shooter? Oh, yeah, because you're a butterfly in that one. Yeah. Sure it does. Man, if you want bug shooters, you want the Famicom for you sure. really do. Well, I found out, luckily, that FSUAE maps the fire button to all buttons on your controllers, so now I can alternate buttons. Oh, that's good. But, yeah, a lot of these games did not have auto-fire as an option, so you really gotta mash. Mash them bugs. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Dave says that you're going ham with the controller. He is! Yes. I'm watching him right now, and he's got a really good technique going. This game's hard. It's cool. It's got a nice aesthetic. Uh, if they had auto fire, I might want to play it some more, but woof. I am not right. cut out to be a bug. You're being informed that if you use power ups and you use a lot of uh, charge moves, this game is actually very easy. Mm, okay, so there are strategies to it. Yes. So if anyone wants a bug shooter on the Amiga, you got one right here. Mm -hmm. A Pedia. Pedia. The German anime influenced bee shooter. Yep. Right Let's here. move on to something more normal. Next up courtesy of Smebel, it's Elvira, Mistress of the Dark. Nice! This one I've actually heard of, and this one I will definitely need the mouse for. Oh, absolutely. Let me just make that. There you go. Give it up. It's yours. I... The mouse. Yeah. Oh, you mean you want the actual mouse? Yes. Oh, oh shit. Okay, Danny has the actual mouse mouse. <laughs> oh god. Oh, oh, I hate this. Oh god, now I really can't see when... Oh, oh god. I've taken control away from Oh, I, I... This is now Danny's turn. For some reason, I thought you were going to have a secondary mouse. I thought it was a figurative takeover. Wow, I'm... I'm... I'm king dipshit, baby. Thank you for marrying me. Well, you don't gotta sell it on me. I already bought it. I mean, well, okay, when you put it that way, fine, I'll buy another copy. I want to say they're talking about the movie, but let's, yeah. Accolade, they weren't just Bubsy, they also published a series of Elvira games for Amiga. I'm all in. I'm all in. $9.99, by the way, is a great price for a, a movie from this time period, I have to say. Oh, my bag is empty. So this is a combination first-person dungeon crawler and action game and RPG and adventure game. It's a lot of things. You move by clicking these arrows on the right. You can turn. Oh, he looks nice. <laughs> wow! Oh yeah, well you're a slimy uh, guy. Low life. Yeah. What, what did I do? You, 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 uh, you walked, you had, look at your UI. That's a low life UI if I ever saw one. It's covered <laughs> in skulls and eyeballs. All right, fair. A real quick thank you very much to Akadar for the 13 month resub. Do appreciate it. A dark, damp, depressing dungeon. Enjoy the dark, damp, and depressing dungeon. And that is where we find ourselves at the start of our adventure. I'm a bird brain and a lizard man and a shithead and a pinhead, I guess. Follow me, pinhead. I I'm love a, her. I'm a All shitty right. pinhead. I like it. Elvira's like, you're kind of dumb. I'm going to do anything to get out of here. That's pretty nice animation. Mm hmm. Look, you didn't tie your weenie in a granny knot. <laughs> ah. <laughs> ah, I'm five. This is great. 12. This is great. <laughs> Alright. Oh, knife. Thanks, Elvira. Always looking after us. <laughs> Have she's, my knife. She's still doing conventions and stuff, you know? Oh, now we got an inventory. Honestly, good for Elvira. Alright, so we gotta find a strange looking guy's sack. Got it. Start in the castle courtyard. Let's mm -hmm. do it. Now, this game is famous for a lot of things, for its detailed pixel art, 
and its gory death scenes. Hopefully we'll, we'll, we'll be able to see at least one of those. Nice. A virus paying me. <laughs> Jerk, <laughs> pinhead, pea brain. Just counting the number of things we've been called. <laughs> I think we're still in the dungeon. Gotta be careful, there's probably guards about. Oh, speak of the devil. Oh man, I don't like the look of that guy. So if you don't turn away in time, you engage in a fight. Mm -hmm. And this is how you fight. I'm parrying. <gasps> oh, they stabbed him! Hell yeah! This is what games were like back in the day. Hey, that went pretty well. Yeah, you did really good. So as you fight these dudes, you get more items. Possibly more experience? I don't think we got any from that guy, though. Let's go up. Ooh, spooky. See, this has atmosphere. I could really get into this if, like, you were playing this in a dark room at midnight. Oh shit, we gotta fight again. So who's played these games? What can you tell me about them? Are they cool? I imagine they are, because there's more than one. Let's see. Uh, Cole Carey's like, this is totally a good spooky game. It's uh, pretty spooky. Mm -hmm. It's very dour. Aside from the uh, humorous inclusion of Elvira herself. Yeah, Arnold says, this has given me a Defenders of the Crown vibe. And also, there are 99 ways to softlock yourself in this system of And yeah, earlier Bobinator was like... Uh, you can really get your... Do not waste any ingredients. You'll get yourself in a Walking Dead state, so... Uh-huh, yeah. yep. These early adventure games love that. They loved making you start over. Hey, I think this guy is way stronger than me. He's kind of getting way more turns than I am. You should stick with Hacken. That seems to yeah, work. Yeah, hack his ass. Shit. You gotta hack! Quit poking me. Well, don't die, Danny. Whatever you do. No. Oh my god! I, uh... I think, uh, I think, I think we've died. Yeah, I can see your throat hole! Uh-huh. Oh. And it starts you right over from the beginning. Ugh! But there's a lot of weird monsters to fight, a lot of gory surprises around every corner, and a lot of soft locks to avoid, but this is a super complex and really deep game that would have enthralled you circa 1990. Elvira, Mistress of the Dark, a true Amiga <laughs> classic. That was nasty, I kinda dug it. It was pretty nasty, yeah. I'm gonna move us on to our next game. Okay. Our next game is... <laughs> well... What is it? This, uh... This comes courtesy of Cass from Bad Game Hall of Fame. Nope! I'm out! This I, is... I, 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 Cass is too knowledgeable! <laughs> Cass gave some great recommendations, but what I ended up going with was a game called Franco the Crazy Revenge from our friends in Poland. Oh no. <laughs> I bet some of y'all have seen this game, and if anyone's Franco. seen it, they're probably like, oh no. Franco! Yep, Franco. I guess you can have the mouse back now. Dude, are you sure? I, I kind of like that. I like not having okay. responsibility. Well, fine. You want to... I I'm like that charge. guy. You want to be in charge? Yeah. All right. So this comes from the people who brought you Street Hassle, a revamped version of Bad Street Brawler. Oh, that game! Uh -huh. Oh, my God. They also released the Macaw Classic. Uh, this game, what is it called? Yeah. Doe Man, that's what it's called. Oh! Oh, Doe Man! Uh-huh. Oh! And Draggy and Croco. Yo, are we ever going to play Draggy and Croco? Well, it didn't get requested, so instead we're stuck playing Franco. You can look at this as a follow-up to their reimagining of Bad Street Brawler. Alright. Cool. Jesus! Uh-huh. Franco, the so Crazy Revenge. So I hear Franco, revenge. the Crazy Revenge. Music and I assume it's a Frankenstein getting revenge, but this goes to show you where uh, 
all over the world, people are developing games for this thing. I believe this is Polish. Correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah, I think this is Polish. Uh, yeah, please let us know if we're not getting our language right here. These jams are hot as hell, but these graphics are... Great. They're great. <laughs> okay, yeah, I got confirmation it's Polish. Okay. Not good. Whoa, we gained muscle. I was gonna say, we gained muscle and lost our clothing! Did we get, like... I think they stole our clothes. <laughs> they stole our clothes and made us buff? Uh-huh. Are these guys perverts? Base off? I don't fucking think so, we're doing base on. <laughs> Alright, <laughs> who should we be? They're dating. Who are we picking? Ah, uh, they're dating. What do you think, Alex? Um, I would say the guy, uh, you know, the guy with the shirt on seems friendlier and more relaxed, but I like the confidence of, uh, Vest Man. Yeah, he could probably kick everyone's ass. Mm -hmm. Let's do it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're a literal Ooh. power couple. I like that you have a, a kill, uh... I like button. the rock and roll Ooh. graffiti. controls in this work kind of strange. Mm. It's like you have to hold the button and then push a direction, or vice versa? Either way, the controls are very different. Oh yeah, check out the final fight sound effects. That is just... <laughs> uh, hey! Quit leaking on the rock and roll school. I like that it's supposed to be P, obviously, but I'm assuming he just has, like, massive diarrhea or something. Looks like apple juice. Yeah, yeah, well, he doesn't drink any water, and also he's just, you know, he's just got liquid diarrhea in front of <laughs> that, the... That backwards kick I gave that guy. That's good. These animations are something else. Beer. Yeah, he's pouring out a beer. Thank you, Crush Gals. He's pouring out a beer for a homie you just killed. <laughs> Who's that dead body? Just by it's, the beer. It's, it's fine. That's Blackout Ted. Blackout Ted's leg is halfway, is not connected to it itself. Wakes up in a different yard every day. Does his foot keep falling off like that, or is that just now? Yeah, even though, wow, he told me to fuck off. Even though this uses sound effects from Final Fight, do not be fooled. This does not control anywhere near as good. But, yeah, that is a penis below the word beer. Also, is the guy saying fuck off? Yeah. Wow. That's a pretty rude game. That is a sexy lady. Do I need a roll of the beer? Because, I mean, the not the beer, but the, the beer. penis. Nah, okay. whatever. Nobody, this nobody, is, this nobody is history. Tell, this is art. Nobody tell Jeff. Nobody tell the big boy Bezos that we're showing off boners. <laughs> That's a lot of bees. Believe it or not, this is not play great. I don't know if I said so already, but there is a lot of blood. Big Boy Bezos Betrayed by Boners. Thank you. <laughs> That's the headline. Mm -hmm. It is street art. This is Banksy's latest masterpiece. See, it's peeing underneath the word beer because beer makes you pee. Mm. And that makes, makes, you makes think. me think. Yeah, and thank pee. you, Banksy. Is this guy ever gonna die? Okay, we killed him. Oh, thank you, Mr. Smiley. Apparently the guy's... Uh, is he saying Kurwa, or is that the, uh, is that the he -ah from the... Oh, whatever. It's like... <laughs> trying to figure out whether or not he's saying a, uh, shouting a Polish, uh, curse word. Right. Odds are there's a few. I found strats. Yeah. Except for this guy. This guy is too smart to fall for my, uh, jump kicks. Yeah, Banksy's beer boner betrays Bezos. Wow. That is the headline a journalist dreams of writing. Why hasn't... You know what? Screw it, I'm just gonna ask. Why hasn't Banksy made a video game? Well, he has, but he only placed one copy underneath the Queen's throne in England. <laughs> no one's ever gonna find it. What's this? I don't know if you're joking or not! That was a cool move I just did. That was really cool. I like that move. More of that. There are a bunch of moves, a lot of animation frames, which I assume someone drew and spent some time on. But oh boy. 
Weirdly enough, this was the better of the two games that Cass suggested. Cass also suggested we play uh, Street Hassle. Uh, turns out there's not a WHD load rip of that Ooh. game, so it would have been a lot more difficult to play it. I like the guy with the squirrel just hanging outside the window. Mm -hmm. I also like the guy with the trash. Like he's, he's he obviously he's like left his house to take out the trash, but then he sees what's going on and he's like, oh shit. Yeah, I, he got distracted. He's he's like, do I do I keep going? I mean, I can't walk that way. They're kind of blocking my path. But all right, here's your strats for the red pants, okay. guys. You just walk up and down and do the low punch. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you're right. Maybe Beer is the name of the graffiti artist who's living in this town. Nike. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, we're working on some business Ooh. partnerships, game. Don't go, <laughs> don't go calling any specific shoe manufacturer Nike. shit, please. Nike, it's shit. <laughs> I like, too, that it's not like Nike is shit. It's Nike, it's, it's shit. Nike, the, yeah, like, that's their new slogan. I honestly, you know what? Who's going to be the first... I remember when Domino's Pizza did their whole, like, we suck, we're bad pizza, but we're good now. Who's going to be the first brand that's like, yeah, we suck. We're not going to improve, but you're still going to use us. Yeah, we admit it. What are you going to do? Oh, another guy who knows how to duck. Franco's biggest nightmare. I like breakdance. I just like that one guy, how he says fuck off. It's not fuck off, it's fuck off. That's me. My god, I'm actually playing this long enough to develop yeah. strategies. You already, I was going to say, you're getting strategies for this game! For as bad as this plays, you really do need different strategies for different enemies. <laughs> <laughs> Freedom Williams CNC Music Factory. This is the greatest- I don't even- This is the greatest city in the world. I love that lady in the back who's like moved her legs out from the street because she doesn't know if you're gonna like kick her. Mm -hmm. Does that cop have a knife? A sword? Maybe. That, holy shit, that's a sword cop! Yeah, don't mesh with Polish cops. Do not! Don't mess or mesh with them. Do not mesh, and also don't give cops swords. Right, I'm gonna beat it's this wave of enemies, and I think we'll move on because we've seen, You've just seen about, a lot of Franco. Just about all we're gonna see of Franco, the crazy revenge. And yeah, it lives up to its title. It's pretty crazy. Why do you do that? Yeah, yeah, it's like a up to down. Mm. There's Street Fighter moves in this game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How you doing good? I think this guy's the boss. No? He wasn't. Alright. The KLF! Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> the KLF! Oh, this game rips! Uh, how is Danny playing Amiga games? Very carefully. <laughs> We're using an uh, Amiga emulator called yeah. FSUAE. A very persnickety, but sometimes working emulator. It just requires a lot of configuration. I think this guy's the boss, so I'm gonna go ahead and beat him. Fuck off. <laughs> yeah, it's a KLF hotel, that's amazing. You know, I used to get mad at people online, but now when they try to get my goat, I just go, fuck off, and then I hit block. <laughs> that's a good way to do it, that's a good attitude, Danny with a mm -hmm. positive attitude. Fuck off. Oh, the double fuck off. I love that double fuck off. Oh, he threw up blood. Cool. Oh man, Revenant lets us know that there's a ton- there's apparently... <laughs> These guys use KLF in their graffiti a lot. That's beautiful. I'm glad that Acid House has a place. Alright, we'll meet at the red station wagon down the street parked in someone's yard. <laughs> Alright, we're, we're done. This, we're that done? Was, that was good. I really enjoyed that. Thank you, Cass, for your suggestion. Wow. Okay, well, next up, let's bump up the quality a little bit with a game called Hunter, Ooh. courtesy of Scarlet Swordfish. And if you do want me to take control again, just let me know. This is the game I mentioned that requires keyboard, mouse, and joysticks. So Alright, so keep that by your side. So I'm gonna keep all three Oh my god! Me, this and is... luckily I have three hands, so this is no problem. Do you need me to hold this? No, don't worry. Okay. It's capturing, right? Okay. Yeah. This game's a little bit complex. I'm not gonna go anywhere deep enough into it to really see anything. But, I think it's pretty cool looking. There we go. Let's 
let's uh, start a new game. Alright. We should probably play Hunter. I mean, please type my name. Thank you. You have to collect the head of a general? Wow. Okay. That's that's my first <laughs> That's just my first mission, all right? Your first mission is a uh, private ass. So look at this fucking game. Hey. Look at this true polygonal 3D open world video game we're playing right here. Real quick, thank you to Sasquatchless for the 27 month free sub. Thank you. So you move the dude using the D-pad on the controller. You zoom in and out using up and down on the keyboard. And right. you have a third hand to use your inventory with. Now you'd think you'd click to go somewhere, but this actually took me a while to figure it out. I had to look up the uh, the manual for this thing. But, true to appearances, this really is an open world video game where you have to commandeer a bunch of vehicles and do a lot of stuff to do uh, to get to where you're going. Oh, like right now. I, com I went into a boat and I didn't even want to. Well, I beached it. <laughs> you're, you're stuck in boat town. I think to get out, you use the parachute. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, there's I'm these here. buildings you can go into. And you can collect items within. Just look at this. This yeah. is like... This has to be late 80s, early 90s. I think this looks very good. This this is really impressive for the time period, yeah. It's fine if you have three hands. And hell, Amigo Owners did. Uh, no, our boat is in a Tesla because it hasn't randomly exploded and run over someone. Yeah, the steering wheel doesn't attach. Mm -hmm. Swag bag. <laughs> Let's pick up the swag bag. Oh, some money. And Little believe it or not, bag. this does not have tank controls. This is uh, fully <laughs> 3D. You go right when you push right, left when you push left. So take that, Resident Evil. Yes. Up here is alone in the dark. Yeah, swag was a term they used back in these in those days, too. It's uh... They were ahead of their time. Mm -hmm. Well, let's go in HQ and see if the boss has any words for us. I'm just impressed at how complex this is. And Ni like... Yeah, this is 1991? Wow. Private ass. <laughs> mm-hmm. Maybe you should public ass yourself. Yeah, this ass is going public. Okay. Okay, so they start you off in the middle of uh, an island. There's something you can do to look at the map. What is that thing that you do? These? I think that's a flare. There was some item that gives you a... Well, whatever. Don't worry We're about not it. here to question our motives. We're here to haul can ass. Can you talk to the flag? No. I think you can salute it, though. And look at this. You get in these vehicles and you just... You just... Oh, it doesn't have any fuel. Um, <laughs> uh, uh, Chad's asking you to look, maybe go to the island cluster icon. Maybe that's where the map is. There's an island cluster icon? Yeah, you know where, where the icons come up? Yeah. Yeah, that one. This? That one. Oh. Yeah, there you go. There's our yeah, map. Thank you. I think yeah. one of these buildings has fuel in it. Did I go in this one? Yeah, I did. Oh, I didn't have this trouble when I was playing it yesterday. pH level is low, buddy. I gotta improve my pH. So who's played this? What can you tell me about this video game? I don't think anyone's played this, but they're, uh, they're telling you that you've got fuel in your inventory. Okay, we'll try using that then. Let's get in that dang boat, turn off our map. A lot of folks in chat mentioning how huge the map is, especially for 91. Oh, we have fuel now. Hey, good, go. good intuition, chat. And look at this. Yeah, you have a whole world full of islands, different land masses. You can go between them in various different vehicles. There's not just boats. With any luck, we'll see a different one in a second. Ooh, I can find a different. Here we go. This goes to show you what kind of stuff was on the Amiga. Stuff you couldn't necessarily get on console back in the day. Like, could you picture a Genesis version of this? I don't think so. Yeah, just let the boat keep running. It's fine. Yeah, we're good. Really, thank you so much to Seymour. Uh, Hirsch, uh, for the 11-month resub, do appreciate it. Seymour says, I feel so Amiga. <laughs> I, I do too, thank you. You know, only Amiga... Oh, look what I found. ...makes this possible. What is mm -hmm. that? It's a bicycle. <laughs> 
did you go? Oh, so, I wish we had the Earthbound bike music. So truly, this is a prototypical Grand Theft Auto. They were doing a whole lot of stuff way, way before the GTA games did, including the open world aspect, the commandeerable vehicles. That's a mm -hmm. word, right? Commandeerable. The the commendable vehicles. The commendable vehicles. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're very nice. I love these vehicles. More swag. More swag. Can always use that. Let's have an F in chat. All right. Pay respects for the concept of the Amiga. Ah, more fuel. Yeah, that's why you need to visit these islands, to find more fuel to eventually go to uh, the guy you're supposed to kill. Luckily, the bike doesn't cost any fuel. Oh, good. It's man-powered, baby. Oh, look at you go. I love this. Mm -hmm. Let's see if we can zoom in on this. Yeah, look at that. Look at this little polygon man out for a bike ride, smashing into a tree. <laughs> Listen, we, we all pay our respects to, to the Commodore here. I love um, having to juggle a keyboard, a mouse, and a joystick. <laughs> oh, hell, Magambo said you got a blombie bike. <laughs> oh, look at all this fuel! Yes! And a truck! Can you steal, steal that truck? I'm gonna steal the shit out of this truck. Let's gas it up and get the fuck out. Oh yeah, here we go. <laughs> it's game rules! I'm a truck man now. Can you drive the truck? Oh, can you- I'm gonna you drive it right over that tent. Aw, oh, man! <laughs> Yeah, hella impressive for 91. Oh, this game rules! Just like, I would never expect this kind of scope and really this kind of open-ended gameplay on any system back then. Much less a uh, computer system that at that point was several years old. Oh my god, this game rules! It's pretty good. That's why I'm glad we're showcasing garbage in addition to actual good stuff. This mm -hmm. makes me feel I'm finally getting a little bit of a grasp on the Amiga. Let's see who's in the tent and then I think we'll move on. Yeah, this, Seraphis, this is extremely ambitious. Mm-hmm, totally. Oh, you lost credits because you killed a seagull. Aw, oh, damn it. I hate when that happens. <laughs> yeah, I, this is uh, Unreal 5 running on the Amiga. Yeah, they just unveiled footage of this today. Very impressive. God, it's so beautiful. Let's see if we can find one more island before we quit. How many triangles do you think this game has? Oh, at least five, maybe six. Ooh, six triangles? At the same time. Wait, do I have guns in this? How do you gun? Don't! You're gonna gun more seagulls and you're gonna lose more credit. Is that a shark? What am I gonna find out here in the open seas? Uh, can you use your map? That's probably a good idea. There we go. Oh, you're heading towards something. Oh, okay. I think. There you go. There's a landmass for your ass. <laughs> well, let's see if there's any... Oh my god! Uh. You have destroyed a rocket boat for 60 credits. Oh, I swim. I can swim. <laughs> Take can that, just, fucker. Can you just swim to another island? I think so. Oh my god. Someone tried to kill me, but I got away and got points for it, so up yours, dude. Now I'm gonna break into this house and watch their TV. <laughs> no, nothing in there. You just stole their money! Oh, we took their money, though. That's nice. Alright, we went to a random house on a random island and took their money. Good. I'm gonna declare this mission accomplished. Mm -hmm. Mission accomplished, we have two dollars. I'm gonna salute the flag. God bless our freedom to go to neighboring islands and steal all their trucks and money and stuff. That's how I plan the crossing. So that's Hunter, an extremely interesting game. I recommend checking this out. There's, We barely scratched the surface on this, but I'm glad we got to show it off. Glad we got to steal a truck. This game, it's, uh, it speaks to my inner psychopath, much like the GTA games do. You, you can apparently windsurf in this game. Sweet! That's amazing. Speaking of sweet... Our next suggestion comes from J.P. Ronnie. J.P. Ronnie, of course, suggests their favorite game. Yes! Yes! Jimmy White's Whirlwind Snooker. <laughs> we got any snooker players in the audience? <laughs> any fans of the, the sweet science? I think that's boxing! But you know... You know... Maybe... Well, I know how good you are. Yeah, this is Jimmy White versus uh, Minnesota Fats. Thank you, J.P. Ronnie. Thank you for being on brand always and forever. You always got to rep Jimmy White. 
As far as I know, snooker is a British exclusive thing. They might play it in other parts of the world. It's basically pool with a bunch of tiny red balls instead of normal balls. From programming wizard Arch Archer McLean. If anyone can fill in the details on old Archer, uh, please do. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank oh, you. It's thank good you. to be here. Let's see if we can get a game started here. Tom, Dick, Harry, or Jimmy? I'm the worldwide snooker champion ass. A new feature not allowed, so you have to be named ass no matter what. Mm-hmm. You have one chance. There, I'm permanently named ass. And we're going to play against Dick. All right. Danny, destroy that dick. Tossing a coin shows that ass is about to break off first. <laughs> mm-hmm. Glad the dick didn't break off. So look at this. This is a 3D video game. How many Amiga games had full 3D engines? This is impressive. Turns out quite a few of them. So you get to place your cue ball. And I think you set your power. This is so complicated. Oh, it's so complicated. It's, God, not, it's not just lining up a shot. You gotta figure out your power. You gotta do top spin. You gotta, oh, we better chalk our cue. That's important. Mm -hmm. Uh, we can apply side spin if we wanted. Uh, I think we're ready to take that shot. Doof. Perfect. They all went in. That was amazing, Danny. Thank you. Thank you. Foul. Make ass foul. play again. You got a foul. Foul, Danny. Danny, you fouled. Ugh. You fouled. Freaking rules wanker. I think that's what they call them. Yeah, they absolutely call them that. They wank over the rules. All right, Dick, you got one in. What else you got? All right, uh, people talking about Archie uh, McLean's other games, uh, International Karate. Um, oh, that's a famous one. Yeah. I saw a couple other here earlier. IK, IK it. Plus, very famous games for uh, computer systems back then. Mm hmm. Let's see. Well, Dick has given us a, a course on snooker playing, so I'm just going to go ahead and let him keep playing. Oh, they also did Mercury and uh, Drop Zone. Mercury, that's right. That came out on the Wii uh, several years back, and it was actually called Archer McLean's Wii. I mean, uh, <laughs> Mercury. I didn't know who that was, but now I do. Yeah, the frame rate on this is really good, too. I don't... I'm really how? impressed with how they get... Uh, playable frame rates out of these 3D video games. I mean, sure, they're, they're all flat shaded and everything, but... It just plays nice. Mm -hmm. Wizards is what they are. Where'd you go? That's not me. Look at Dick go. <laughs> How many balls is he going to sink before I get a chance? Look at that. I think he's going to sink all of them. Ridiculous. Oh, have fun with that, Dick. Yeah. Oh yeah, we're representing Jimmy White Snooker now on the K Price. <laughs> ah, Night Razor. And of course Jimmy White continued his reign on the PlayStation. There was at least one game starring him that was released here in the States. I think it was uh Jimmy White's Pro Pool or something. Anyway, there's at least one PlayStation cover that had his big smiling face on it. I love it. Did it have that uh almost sensual allure that he had in the uh the Amiga cover? Yes. Oh good. I love the sensual allure of Jimmy White. I'm thinking of buying that game just for that cover. It's a good cover. A lot of sensual allure. Mm-hmm. Set my power. Oh, chalk the cue. Gotta do that. I do like the noise it makes. And you gotta hit it. That's I would advice. love to. That's my advice. Where's, where's the hit ball button um, for this one? <laughs> Perfect. I am the snooker champion. <laughs> now Dick gets to decide my fate. There are 99 points left on the table. Nobody needs snookers. Don't worry, I everyone. Nobody needs snookers. If you didn't bring any... Don't worry. This is not a BYOS situation. Oh my god. Alright, well. Okay, this is for all the marbles. Oh, you missed it! You biffed it, you big dumb idiot! <laughs> Mr. Snooker King. Oh, I'm Dick. 
Oh, that, it, grew, it grew eyes for a second. Look! Ah! Now there's flies all over the table? Am I oh. imagining that? <laughs> Am I hallucinating? Did, did, we get, did we get some of that? That famous Manchester ecstasy or something? Maybe we did. Maybe it's time I... to, to, to bid Jimmy White uh, goodbye before, <laughs> before we learn why they call him Jimmy White. All right, moving on. Thank you, JP Ronnie, as always, Thank for your you, promotion JP. of the uh, <laughs> the snooker lifestyle. <laughs> we got one more game before we come up to our halftime show. Making pretty good time here. Pretty happy with how this has been played out so far. Uh, Next up, a game I don't understand at all, so good luck explaining this one. This is Knights of the Crystallion, suggested by Faba Consumer. Ooh, 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 yeah, I was playing this in the, uh, I was looking at this uh, pre-show, I was testing uh some things with this and hey i don't get this game and it seems really weird yeah me either i didn't get it at all all right oh good u.s gold that idea says this game is insanely comp complicated and in depth that's oh, wonderful okay other people saw the flies too good yeah it's not just you on the other hand uh uh, real quick, uh, what were you going to say? Look at this. Uh, real quick, thank you, Femi Consumer. Gave us 100 bits and says, I owned this game as a kid and played it a lot, and I still don't understand it one bit. So that's Whoa, good. you had this as a kid. Amazing. We have a couple games like that tonight. And so far, the games that people have told me they had as a kid are the most amazing ones. So anyway, we're deep within a skull, and we have to make the crystallion. Huh? Fossilized crystals from brains! Brains turn into crystals! Everybody! What the right. fuck? Mm -hmm. Crystal brain! I'm crystal brain! I'm crystal brain! Alright, you ready to start building that crystal brain? Yes? What is... Uh, well, let's see. First-time visitors often introduce themselves to the keepers of the smit. Of the smit? Let's do it. <laughs> well, I definitely read that. I read that too. Oh shit. Okay, this I can handle. All right, you're throwing This is a video game. It's like you're throwing some cosmic beans. Mhm. Mm Just making some crystallions. They call me oh the Johnny God. Appleseed of crystallions. Johnny Crystallion seed. <laughs> Alright, Bob gives us a fun fact. Uh, this was by the same guy who made Bart's Nightmare. He hated that so much, he quit making games. <laughs> Bart's Nightmare or this? <laughs> he, Bart's Nightmare. Oh, okay. He called Bart's Nightmare Bill's, Bill's Nightmare, and then he went to theology school. Oh, poor Bill. Is this the same Bill as Bill's Tomato Game? Probably not, right? I want to say no. Uh, Chad let us know, though. Darkness drops over you like a heavy blanket as you slip into unconscious. You're right. You wake much later. But alive. Okay, we're good. Let's go in here. Sick. See, this is what I think of when I think of Amiga games. Highly detailed graphics and completely incomprehensible everything else, including the graphics. Oh, he worked on King of Chicago? Alright. Oh man, he's cool. That game rules. Oh, thank you, Miss T. Uh, Miss T linked to an article by the Obscuratory about this game, so please look that up. This probably has a lot of information, and we oh, will. Oh, look at that! The lighting uh, changes depending hey, on where you shoot your fireballs. Hey, that's cool as shit! And it must have taken a lot of time to draw all these detailed backgrounds. Wow! But I can only s assume this is some kind of exploration-based, actiony adventure game. Oh, neat. Okay, you can set your dude on a path, and while he's walking, you can make him turn around and throw fireballs at stuff. This was this game was made by one person, apparently. Holy shit. Bill. I don't think there's been a more remar remarkable Bill born in the last 20 years. Gotta step it up, Bill. This game is an economy simulator in it, too. What? <laughs> is there anything this game isn't? Oh, I turned on the lights. There's a card game in here, a town management sim in here. This is amazing. Amiga, they just wanted to do everything, man. There's no limits when you have Amiga. Oh, that's a, a ramp. I can't go up it. Did you die? I've died again. But I live. 
Did you introduce yourself to the clonky or whatever? McClunkies. I'm groggy from the sting. Mm -hmm. oh, you're awake. You're The fine. sting that took away my beloved Yuri. <sighs> Rip to Danny's Yuri. Is the light not in the same place? I don't think it is. That's a shame. Well, we're in a different place now. I cannot imagine having this as a kid. I would have probably thought that this was the most amazing shit ever. And hell, it, it kind of still is. Maybe I should have been a computer kid. Maybe you should have. Squeeze my right hand if you think you're able to go on, or my left hand if you'd like to return to the city. Oh, you use your mouse to uh, squeeze this dude's hand. What? Let's go back to the city. Let's go to... Froder. Oh, you can't use it. You need crystals. Wait, what? Uh, I was gonna say it. This feels like a classic of game. Uh, yeah. There. Do they want it? Let's put another one in there. Am I playing ski ball? Right about here. Wow. Well, I now feel like I'm on drugs. This must be what it's like. Mm hmm. It's just like this. Do, 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 do. Let's see what's in here before we move on. Alright. You got your wine bread, you got this family, you got. Stocks! <laughs> I have to buy stocks? You have to buy stock and wine bread. Oh no, I sped up time by clicking the, the thing. Um, oh, they're gonna open another mutter. This is so complicated! Yes, I say yes. I, I accept. Bam. This is so complicated! I don't know if I'm closer to understanding the Amiga or further away than ever, but... Either way, I'm very impressed with this. That someone would make this, and it would actually, you know, get released in some form. No, I'm done. <laughs> my brain is already... <laughs> Are, this is like such my a storage capacity has already been filled up by this game. I cannot interpret anymore, but we must move on. This is a AAA game made by one person. That's amazing. Only Amiga, man. You would not see this on your Sega Genesis or your PlayStation if you wanted this journey into madness. This, um... Knights of the Crystallion. You would have mm -hmm. to play it on Amiga. And with that, we have hit our halfway point. Oh, give me that. At which point, I'm going to give control over to Alex so we can do one more request. This is from our friend Seelid, who said they just want to see the Cannon Fodder CD32 intro. Let's oh, do fucking it. absolutely. We can absolutely do that. All right, let me I just... couldn't get the game itself to work, but luckily the video is a standalone thing, so we can go ahead and watch it. Yeah, let's watch that. Uh, Cannon Fodder is the real-time strategy game made by Sensible Software. It has all those little army dudes going around jungles and shooting stuff. Mm -hmm. It gets real gory and violent. All right. Well, for the CD32 version, they made a limited FMV intro that you can only see if you had an upgraded Amiga CD32 with the FMV hardware. Let's watch it. Let's watch it. Crank it for us. Yeah. There's our boys. No. I don't even know what to say, I love this. I just want to say, I wish programmer reggae was more of a thing aside from <laughs> Cannon Fodder. This, I, I was telling Alex earlier, this is the European version of the theme from Cops. <laughs> I actually think this works. This is works. Really, the the reggae thing works really well because of how anti-war this weird game is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this game was attacked on release for being like, "Oh, they, they're saying war is fun. What's up with that? This game is obviously garbage and will corrupt the youth." And you look at it for two seconds and you're like, "This is so anti-war. What the hell's this wrong game with you?" This is extremely anti-war. You literally walk. Starts off with a full-screen image of a poppy. <laughs> you literally. You walk by the graves of the people you killed after each level and the people who died. 
Anyway, this FMV intro cements their position as making fun of war and saying how fun it is. Yeah, war is very fun. We're, we're big war stands here. Salute. I'll oh, break it down. <laughs> that was me. They had a Mario mask earlier, and one of them's Donald Duck. Not pretty good, mate. Oh, there's the goat that I'm fucking. Yeah, boom boxes in World War One. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. It was attack more for the poppy rather than being pro war. But... I see. Yeah. Yeah. All I'm, I'm not going to get into it because I don't know enough. All I know is that every British person I know has very strong opinions on it for a lot of different reasons, and it's a symbol of a European to... uh, Veterans Association, I think. Yeah, I'm not stepping in on any of that. I'm... Yeah, there it is. <laughs> I'm but yeah, just to drive the point home, if you had the FMV expansion module for your CD32, you would see that at the beginning of the game. A module so obscure that FSUAE refused to let me try to configure it. <laughs> it said it was looking for something like FVM ROM? That's not FMV, and whatever. <laughs> no one wants to hear that, how the sausage is made. I mean, some people like sausage. I love sausage. Especially in our chat. All right, what are we playing next? Or do, would, you like the, would you like the mouse? Next up, let's go back into the games. Do yeah, the give, me the, give me the mouse. Okay. There Thanks. You go. Danny's back in control. Wait, 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 wait. I need the mouse for one second. <laughs> I just, I'm so dumb. I'm so, please ignore me. Ignore me. Ignore me. I need to resize this again. Ignore me. Ignore me. I am doing my best. <laughs> Next up. Okay, here you go. Courtesy of SSF SX17. It's the classic Amiga fighting game, Shadow Fighter. Still ignore me. I'm doing it. Okay. Uh, this game had a CD32 version, and it also had an advanced graphics version, which is the version we're playing right now. Cool. We got 250 bits from the Ultimo. Thank you so much. The Ultimo says, time for you to get 3DO cannon fodder. It has the intro. Mm. Oh, shit. I gotta play that. Thank you. Now you ask, how good of a fighting game can you make with one button? Well, it looks like this. It is from Gremlin. I do like Gremlins. An established company. Made up of gremlins. Oh shit, there's apparently a net play build of this game. Yep. This game somehow has a fan base. I mean... I love naps! Yeah, same. Yes, team naps! I feel like we have a lot in common. Oh, do you want to turn down the volume for yeah. us? Okay. Okay, that's better. My ears are no longer blasted. Let's hit the championship. We got Slam Dunk. We got Electra, Soria, Jurgen, Cody, Faker, and a whole bunch of characters you need to unlock. Let's be. I love how anime some of these. <laughs> Who is that? We're, we're, we're gonna be Tom of Finland. <laughs> I like how Electra's like, oh man. It's a pretty late game. I think this is 94, 95. Okay, you're gonna enter the tournament with an ongoing investigation in mind. He suspects one of the fighters to be a murderer. Uh, I like that- Special he... moves gunfire. He brought his gun. <laughs> I like that he's doing a, a secret investigation, but uh... But he's not getting out of his cop uniform. Here we freaking go. Now this is a fighting game. They shut up. <laughs> they should just say fuck you. <laughs> or like in that first game, fuck off. Fuck off. Now there's one button, so I think it matters how long you hold the button, depending on what kind of strength the punch you're getting. This music's cool. It is very cool. There's a robot saying rap. I'm that robot. 
I see what it is. If you hold down and push the button, you get a punch, and if you hold down and back, you get a kick. Okay, we got this now. I'm just gonna have to forget everything I learned about fighting games. Just empty your mind and fill it with the good word of Jurgen. Oh god. I want... I wish I knew the move to pull out your gun and fire. Is it like a sonic boom, maybe? Well, I'm gonna have to make do with what I know. Yeah, sorry about that. Um... I'm gonna did win this a, one. Did he, have a, did he have a knife or is that a billy club? That's a billy club. Okay. Yeah, it's a club. He's got a club and a gun. Everyone's calling electric lady Terry Bogard. <laughs> Terry Bogard. <laughs> also, Naps is, uh, according to Electric Boogaloo, based in Naples, Inner Italy. Not yeah. Italy. We're trotting the globe here today. We've been to Poland, we've been to Italy, Germany. Yeah, we don't. We sometimes play. Who needs to go outside when you have the Amiga? <laughs> Me. I miss the library so much. Whenever whenever they like ask your local librarian for more info and I'm like, I wish I could. <laughs> Where's my local librarian when I need him? I just wanna win this one so I can see who the next guy is. Rap. Rap. Oh, got him. Alright, good. Also, when you play on the harder difficulties, you do get more access to more characters. Oh, that's what it is. That's kind of weird. Never heard of another game tying the roster to difficulty. But that's how they do in, uh, what was it, Norway? Uh... Denmark? Norway? Germany? Uh, Slam Naples! This is Naples, Naples yes. <laughs> Slam Dunk from Denmark. Known for their basketball ability. You know what? I don't know anything about Denmark, so maybe. Wait, no, I do know something about Denmark. Oh, this, this stage is cool. I know that they made a really cool stage. Some nice line scrolling effects on the, the floor, too, making it look like Street Fighter 2. I guess the character art and animation's alright. It's just. not so sure about this whole gameplay thing. Yes, Fighter Naps. That's me. Yeah, it does look like you're playing in the Pepsi Coliseum here, Danny. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I noticed that. I didn't want to say anything, but I'm like, you're sponsored by Naps, Pepsi, uh... All my favorite Pops, things. probably. Yeah, well... Jam! Jam! You know, uh, that's a good question. Now that you're playing a slam dunk, how does this compare to Top Fighter? Well, I think this is better. This honestly plays better than a bootleg Genesis fighting game, which is about... Which is damning with faint praise, I guess, but <laughs> still. It's playable. Not the worst fighter I've ever played. I'll play this over Street Fighter 1. I love the stripes on your pants. It makes you look like you're wearing sweatpants. Like a like <laughs> like Adidas. It looks like you're wearing like Adidas pants. Wait a it's more like a more like a Judge Dredd uniform, I thought. Yeah, maybe. If Judge Dredd wore Adidas. Mm-hmm. You just you look like a, you look like you're gonna just like, you know, do one of those like wear that Adidas gear and do a squat and take a photo or something. I just want one special move. Is it so much to ask that I be able to pull out my gun and shoot a man on the basketball court? Yes! Actually, I think don't think you should be able to shoot people on basketball courts. Call me crazy, call me wild, but I don't think that should be... Come on, we're playing Naples rules. Yeah, I don't think they shoot people on the ball court Look in at all Italy. that blood. <laughs> hmm? You see all that blood? Yeah, I, you know, they allow that, but not bullets. And fair enough, I don't... Ooh, there we go. I got something to come out. It wasn't the gun, but it's a start. Mm -hmm. I don't think those are uh, dog ears on the skulls. I think those are horns, but... Is he saying jam every time? Yeah. Jam! Or slam dunk. Okay, who would win? This guy or the sports team in KOF 94? Oh, that's a good question. Put this guy up against Heavy D. I'm just saying, I know basketballers are good at fighting. King okay, Fighters gun 94. is quarter circle backfire. Mmm. I've seen multiple people say that, so if you want to try that real quick. I will. Quarter circle back and fire. Let's do that. Unfortunately, 
unfortunately, it's not working for us. Oh, there we go. Oh, shit. Okay. Yeah. Oh, my God. Don't do this, Danny. Do not shoot people on the basketball court. I do not know. I'll show you home court advantage. <laughs> well, this is wacky. This is a game where you can play as a killer cop shooting all the enemies that he fights. Including on a court in, um... I think this character is from Denmark. Yeah, the, the, the Danish uh, basketball player slam mm -hmm. dunk. Man, I'm just getting so much culture. Every region, your knowledge is flowing into me via the Amiga. <laughs> just call us Misters Worldwide. <laughs> <laughs> well, I did what I wanted. I pulled out my gun and shot a man on the basketball court. Cool. Could you do me a solid? Yeah. Could you click right there so I can see chat again? Oh, no problem. <laughs> yeah. yeah, right Yeah, right there. Ah, uh, awesome. Okay. Oh, Nap's a... team is still around. Delightful. Next I hope they're uh, getting enough rest. Next up, thanks to our friend Yaddle, we are going to play Spitting Image, the computer game. I, got it. I have a very quick question. Yes? Is this based on the show? Funny you should say that. Don't, don't, don't you... Oh no, I see the time period. I see who made it. No, 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 uh -huh. no, no. There is a game. No. No! Based no! on spitting image. No! Sorry to say, <laughs> but it's the truth. You got you had to learn sometime. <laughs> and the next seven years of world war, gr greater than all the other wars, will take place. This pawn is weird. <laughs> If, if, if you don't know Spitting Image, the show, you may know the Spitting Image puppets from, uh, from the Land of Confusion music video. I like that Ronald Reagan's nose looks like a penis. Real quick, um, Gauze Rage is being summoned over and over and you are being banned. Let me turn things down for us a little bit. And also turn down here. Okay. There you go. Look at me, I'm the stream master. And now you just need to click on chat again. All right. <laughs> there you go. Now you're being. Oh yeah! I like the Pope's drill. So you got you got all these characters. Uh, you have some familiar faces you may know throughout history. We have. Uh, we can be, we can go to Britain. Uh -huh. uh, P Pinko land. That's uh that's uh Russia, I see. San Sodal money land. Mm. Oh. No. Oh God. Oh, I saw another one that was really uh, racist. Mm. Can we not go to? Okay, well let's let's go ahead and stop the racism and pick Ronald Reagan or Ronald McReagan as he's known. Oh, and my he's God. going to face off against his Drill Pope. Drill his Pope. Holy coolness, Drill Pope. And this is the game. All right, we're at Ronald's now, restaurant now with I have uh, some, hot I have, Nancy's. I have some complaints about this game. Uh, first of all, the roster. There's too many men. Uh, there was a couple women in there. Actually, too many people. And they're making too many problems. I have a complaint, too. Yeah? There's not enough love going around here. I mean, well, yeah, look at it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they're just fighting. You could call this a land of... Uh, bad uh, games? You know, a land of bad games, yeah. That's what I was going for. Mm -hmm. So this is a very simple fighter. If you hold forward and push the button, you attack with your guitar. If you hold back and attack, you do... A nun comes out from under your robes. <laughs> Holy fuck! Hmm. Fries. It just says fries. Did you see that? Yeah. Fries. <laughs> a true piece of history, this one is. I don't know if uh, Evo is going to pick up on I this just, one. There's a spinning image fighting game. Uh huh. There's Satan. There's a burger. Hmm. Flying Burger Man. I just love Drill Pope. I do love Drill Pope. I. Uh, please put that on good faces. Thank you. Shove off and choose your next victim. Alright, we will. Mm. Let's be, uh... I don't know who that... Oh, I think that's Margaret Thatcher? It should be Margaret let's, Thatcher. Let's, let's fight Mrs. T. As, this is Smith. Margaret as Thatcher versus the Pope, baby! Mm -hmm. That's a battle to end all battles. 
There we go. We're fighting on 16 Downing Street. Wait a minute. Yes, actually, you're right about that, Arnold. It is town 10 Downing Street. Arnold, Arnold Rimmer mentions one of the reasons why they used puppets in uh, Spitting Image was because uh, UK law, and I remember actually hearing about this, um, you're not allowed to really use news footage for a lot of comedy shit. Or oh, repurpose okay. It. Yeah. So that's why they needed to make puppets that yeah. look like these people. You couldn't reuse news media for other purposes. If I recall, um, who got in trouble? Uh... Uh, Daily Show got in trouble for that at one point. Yeah, it's really, yeah, yeah. UK is really weird about news parody laws. Someone threw a soda strange. at the back of, of Drill Pope's head. It's not cool. Mrs. T is tough. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Listen, we all know you want to see the Pope versus Margaret Thatcher. We know that this is yeah, what you were all asking for. I'm giving for. the people what they wanted. Every day, people are all like, when are you going to have Margaret Thatcher fight the Pope on stream? Mm -hmm. It's the new hip thing to do here on Twitch. I don't keep up with all your memes. Well, here you go. I'm memeing it up. Yeah, if I recall, Tizo, it's specifically um, not just... Pro I, I know parliamentary footage. I heard that it was certain footage in certain places of... Uh... Of which oh, I forget. I've, but I'm again. I'm not. I'm not from the UK. I would not know what UK parody law is aside from like bits and pieces I've heard. Yeah, that's a tough match. Who's gonna win this one? I think I'm doing pretty good. Oh, spinning image is coming back. No. No. No, it's not. No, I refuse. Let's stop that. Let's do everything in our power to stop that from happening. No, 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 no. I don't want to see. She she beat me. I got beaten. Drill Pope is dead at the hands of Margaret Thatcher. This is the worst possible ending. Well, I'm very excited to see all the American politicians rendered as... Mr. Do? That's the name you gave me? You call me Mr. Do after all that? We're done. We're done. F fuck, fuck you, spinning image. <laughs> anti, anti Mr. Do here. All right. Well, it's time to get serious. Mm -hmm. Our next game is suggested by Taizo. Taizo said that they played this game as a kid. Oh no, it's this game. And second of all, they used that c classic Britishism of understatement in telling me that it was slightly cursed in their words. <laughs> First of all, congratulations on playing an incredibly rare game as a kid, because this is one of the few Amiga games that has not been preserved via WHD load. We're going to have to play the disc version of this, meaning there's going to be a lot of extra load time. Okay. But I did get it to work. We just need to load up four discs ahead of time. Uh... So Taizo, what can you tell me about this game? Taizo, fill us in. This fill game is us called. In while we start. This game is called Valhalla and the Fortress of Eve. Mm. It's six discs. Uh, as long as I insert the first four ahead of time, we should be fine. Okay. It has a good introduction that we're definitely going to want to see. Good, good. And here is disc four of four, and I think we should be able to start, and it should run perfect. Hang on. <laughs> we need to restart this. Uh, real quick, Taizo says this game um, is the third in the series. It's made by Vulcan Software, which consists of two whole people. So there you go. Sweet. These games are only sold via mail order, and there's not a lot of them sold. Apparently not. Because I think to convert them to WHD load, which are uh, hard drive images of these games, mm -hmm. you need to have a clean disc. And I don't think anyone has submitted clean discs to dumpers for... Uh, Inclusion in this project. There we go. So good. Oh my god. This mouse does not like this surface. But it's fine. It's You're perfectly fine, don't worry. freaking fine. <laughs> Would you like the mouse uh, pad? Yes. Here you go. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Hey, I like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Call the Boondocks board. Mm -hmm. Mm, get your pirated game. I had never heard of this game, but yeah, it's the third game in the series. Uh, that's some pretty good production quality, and it broke my brain when I played it yesterday. One of those guys is named Buff Dude. I like that. Sweet. That's me. Yep. Also, you get crack shows with the floppy versions. Uh, the mm. hard drive images, uh, they have no intros. Kind of a shame. 
Danny, please visit my BBS. Okay. Thank you. What you got there? Um, games. I like those. I also got characters and email. Can you call yourself Vulcan Software? Sure. Uh, I don't like that this is a speech adventure. Yeah, just skip through the credits at the beginning, and it'll present a very important question to us. Alright, looks like the volume is good enough to hear. Let me know if y'all can't hear this next part, because it's pretty critical. Yes! Yes, we do want to see this animation. I'm sorry, everyone. Hmm. But at least we'll learn all about this game's hero and the storyline surrounding Valhalla. I say good afternoon. As you can see, I've grown into a charming, dashing, handsome individual. <laughs> what do you think? Since I avenged the Lord of Infinity, <laughs> Valhalla has been a beautiful and righteous place to live in. I don't like the way his eyes work. They're perfect. He's no, perfect. Take it back. Now, I have a problem. I'm now at the age when I notice girls. <laughs> but when I tried to notice them, there were none. There were none. I'm just looking at that damn worm ever since got Someone pointed out. All the girls in Valhalla. I think it's that mad witch, Evelyn Eve. Yeah, this is like a 60-year-old man entering puberty. She has always wanted her daughter, Esmeralda, to be queen of Valhalla. I need to find some alternative. I need a choice. You understand, don't you? <laughs> that face. That one face he makes just murders me. Is that what made you lose your yes. mind? Yes. you if you find me another wife, as I do not want to marry Esmeralda E. <laughs> His eyes! Oh, he's got those awful eyes. So, Puberty Elf wants to get laid. That's the story. Uh, there's one lady who they've prepared for him. Not good enough. He needs to find a different lady because he started noticing girls. Creepy smile. This game, you can see why it broke me. I like the warm puking. Um... Also, any help you can give me with this game, I am definitely going to need it. Girls. Uh, chat is losing their mind. Uh, Good. Okay, it's not just me. Sneaker says Amiga is full of nightmare fuel, and Cactus Bee says thanks, pals. This gave me more Gallon's disease. <laughs> you will never sleep again, and you're welcome. And Fire Mountain says I thought we were playing games and weren't against Twitch's terms of service. <laughs> well. And Taizo gives you a hint, and Taizo's hint is sorry, I never had any idea how the fuck to play this. <laughs> All right, great. <laughs> So from what I can tell, this is British Yoda stories. Uh, you go around, <laughs> you go around this environment picking up stuff. Oh, those lips! Interacting with people. I got it. Uh huh. Who's played Yoda stories? I played Yoda stories. It was okay. I don't like the way any of this is happening. An ignorant peasant. Wow. Well, let's talk to him. Hello, hello. Uh. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. This, uh, this is the system everyone wanted us to play. I don't even know. An ignorant peasant. <laughs> well, let's, let's, let's talk to this one. Hello. I'm in terrible pain. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he'll want some cheese. Is that a dead body? Ah, uh, well, we'll have to go up there and look at it, won't we? I think we can operate this. Yeah, there we go. Okay, now what? Smart arse. I have to adjust my speech, you see. Yeah, I. To suit the region. I don't. Attack. 
fire. Oh, let's get it. I can smell you. Uh. Uh. Very interesting. Y yeah. Yeah, um, it, it, it is. Don't like to hear someone say I can smell you in that voice. I think it's this guy who can smell us? Let's ask him. He's an ignorant peasant. Hello. Hello. No, he just says hello. You... Hold up. There you go. Hello. Hello. Nice. I'm in terrible pain. <laughs> hey, more cheese just lying around. Sweet. Hold on. Do you think the smelly cheese will make it, uh, him not able to smell you? Oh, maybe. That's I've, good I've, I've played some video games. Oh, right, we were gonna look at that dead body. Let's go do that. Yeah. So this um, game looks interesting. It's pretty straightforward. I like the iconography instead of, uh, having to pick from a menu. I do like that. It's pretty accessible. You can play most of it with just a mouse. That's good. Also, it's incredibly cursed. It is extremely cursed, and I don't... Oh god. The scenery. <laughs> that it sure is! You're damn right, dude! The scenery. Holy shit! I'm broadening my horizons. I'm getting smarter by the second. We are we are we are going to be brain geniuses by the time this is over. All right, I feel go, like I could pass the up. SAT with Breeze. What about the peace side? With Breeze. Like... More 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 stinky cheese. You better grab that cheese. Hold up, I gotta look at the dead body. Okay, let's look at the corpse. Ah. Uh, uh. He doesn't talk back. I can't. <laughs> he can't steal the secret bones. Damn. Get it. I was a mere Nintendo player when this game came out. But now my brain has grown so big it can no longer be contained in my skull. I got it. Also, I love that this guy looks like he's in his, like, 60s, but he's supposedly going through puberty, so he's, like, <laughs> yeah. 13, 14, 12, maybe? A chemist. I'm a chemist. Hello. I make painkillers. <gasps> Get one from him and give it to the guy who's in terrible pain. That's a good idea. Give him opioids. Yeah, let's start the opioid ep epidemic early. Okay, now what? What is this thing? A loaf of bread. Delicious, I'll take it. I got it. I was gonna say, by painkillers in ye olden days, it's probably like, yeah, just opium or whatever. Yeah, we're gonna get him some cocaine. Lodding him, I don't know. Is that a treasure chest? It's a chest. Yeah, yeah, let's open it. I can't. Well, maybe these switches will open it. Alright. Oh, good, there's only like seven switches. Ouch, that's hot. Oh, they're hot. <laughs> well, you burned your fingers, babe. <laughs> I will say, this is a fascinating game that I've oh, never that heard open. of in my entire life. And I'm so glad I got the chance to play it. That's amazing. <laughs> oh, did it close when you walked by it? It did. You know what? I bet it needs two of the sapphires to open. Mmm, yeah. Very interesting. You can see the little sl sloths on the side. Very interesting. Alright, you're being asked to if you asked if you can combine the bread and the cheese. Let's do that. I huh? What? <laughs> That's I don't know if there's a combine command. <laughs> Alright, we don't know how to do that. Can I drink the cheese? I can't. Oh, shame. Can I eat the cheese? Yes. Not a lot of good. Not a fan, huh? Cool worm. Oh, a map! Oh. That's cool. Uh -oh. Say cool worm. Slug. No! It's a cool slug! No way! No, oh, he's not going to touch the slug. Oh man, what a loser. Well, this is a pretty basic adventure game compared to what we've seen so far with all the polygonal 3D stuff, but graphics are pretty nice. It's just incredibly cursed, and you have to deal with the fact that you'll be cursed for the rest of your life if you play this. 
Is that a trade-off worth making? Uh, you are being asked to talk to the slug. I can talk to the slug? Yes. All right. Izo says say hi to the slug. That's yeah. how we're going to end this. We're going to talk to the slug. This does look like a pretty interesting game. One that has some production values. It's just I can't get past the main character. I can't. Hello. Hello. I think you got trolled. Nothing doing. Uh, you got trolled by Taizo. God damn it. One last, you got in one last jab before I finish playing your game. <laughs> Thank you for your suggestion. That is Valhalla and the Fortress of Eve. Maybe someday we'll get to that fortress. Until, now, until then, uh, always remember that man. And always remember, I'm in terrible pain. <laughs> Alright, multiple people are saying to talk to the slug, you have to press Alt F4. We need to move on. <laughs> We're being trolled. Nope, that only works on Alex, sorry. No. <laughs> it wasn't even an intentional own. Tizer just thought you were you might be able to do it. <laughs> well, we appreciate the effort, and thank you again for recommending that extremely fucked game. Yeah, after I played that game, I needed to take a break for a while. That was my 11th Amiga game in a row that I tested out. And after hearing about how he wanted to notice girls, and he made that terrible face. I don't oh. like when his eyes... Ugh. Just just magnifique is what no. it is. That is not what that word means. Got a few more games to show off before we end the festivities. Next up from Uzi, it's Viral Cop. Ooh, this game has a great cover. It does. Let's see if it's a great game. I bet it's great. I bet it's like the best game on Earth. I bet it's got viruses and cops. The two things right now that I love the most. Virus Cop. Warner Interactive. Renegade. Where do I know Renegade from? I'm seeing uh, that this is a good game. Yeah, this is a good game. Oh, press any direction, then hit fire. All right, I can read. Okay, I already like this. So this uses the AGA chipset, so this is going to look a little bit better than other Amiga games. Thank you, Graph Gold. Enjoy some jazz. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Let's see what this little robot's all about. Yeah, let's see what he can do. It's a funny old game. And that's all the setup you get. It's a funny that, old game. It sure is! So this is an action arcade style game where you control a little robot. Like that. You go around these bizarre environments and the one button you have lets you shoot. Oh, it's by the people who made Fire and Ice. Okay. Oh, all right. So people who have some experience with the hardware. It's a very busy game from what I've seen. There's a lot of stuff going around you gotta shoot that you gotta avoid. You think this level is based on uh, Jimmy White's Pro Snooker? Yes, this is uh, Jimmy White specifically designed and made this uh, this one. Wow. He was like, listen, there's one thing I love. There's two things I love. Snooker and Viro Cops. <laughs> Old Jimbo himself. I have no idea what you're doing, but I like this. I think it's pretty much straightforward. You just go towards the exit. It's a little difficult to tell because of the perspective and the way the graphics are, but... I played a little bit of this last night, and I had quite an enjoyable time. This, this is fun. Yeah. Okay, we have to kill the green virusy things. Oh, I see. Was there one I already missed? I don't know. Well, we'll find out at the end yeah. of the level. Chat has come to a conclusion that this is a good game. Yeah. Everyone in chat, everyone is like, I don't know what to say other than good. It's pretty neat. I like the graphical detail, too. I like that it's a golf course and also a, uh, a billiards table. I like that a lot. It's pretty creative. Oh, now it's also a soccer game. Yeah, I, I do think that we... That... Those are the viruses. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Get their ass. Get their ass. Got him. You have to collect every letter of the alphabet. Come on. That's very Amiga. It is. Usually they just stick to like ten letters of the alphabet, but here it's like, nope, the, the full English is how they call it. Yeah, I am getting uh, how uh, uh, Zombie Save My Neighbor vibes from this, too. Yeah. Oh, yeah, a little bit. 
It's like that, only you're one tiny robot and you have one weapon. Maybe you get more. Yeah. I like collecting stuff. And the music. I don't know what to say other than good, I'm sorry, I just... Yeah, so Amiga has these really in-depth and sometimes inscrutable adventure games, mm -hmm. and it just has sometimes really straightforward and fun shoot 'em up style arcade games, too. Yeah, multiple, Something for everyone. Multiple folks in chat are comparing this to Nitro Ball, which is also... Oh, this is hella Nitro Ball, good call. Yeah, that is a Data East uh, shoot 'em up rather running gun. A little bit similar to this. Yeah, yeah, I agree. This was so late in the Amiga's life. I really wish this was uh, ported to console at some point. Because this is... I would love this. They got the timer built into the environment. And I fell down a level. <laughs> I am charmed. My socks... I This has charmed my socks off. Yeah, I, uh, where'd your socks go? I don't know. I, I've been too fucking charmed by this Virocop. Oops. Ran right into that virus. Where do we start? Here? Where is here? I don't know. Oh, this is way back. It's fine. Up. Yep. There you go. So many little touches in the environment. Please. You can tell the people who made this loved it. Just... You're adorable, Danny. He's Virocop, the only good cop. He is adorable. He's gonna kill all the viruses. I wish he were here now. I we need it. you, Virocop. Virocop, please! Please, now more than ever! Was this a rugby field? I don't know. No, wait, I think it's Hopscotch. Uh, same thing. Look at all these bullets! Maybe it was Shuffleboard. Maybe you can't get him because you have to get the other virus. Yeah, I think I missed a virus or two. Thanks. That there was one at the beginning of the level. I think there was, and we just like ran away. Well, we all just ran away from it. Danny ran away from it. Well, I mean, I don't want to. I would have I... faced my fears. <laughs> no, I wouldn't have. I wouldn't have faced my fears at all. I couldn't have. I couldn't have defeated anybody. You know me. Uh, is this still a one-button game? Yep, sure is. You got one button. That's more than enough. No one needs more than one. This is offering me the chance to restart, maybe, but I'm not really figuring that out. But, we have seen a good lot of Virocop. Neat game! Very straightforward, very simplistic, but sometimes that's just what the doctor ordered. And this doctor recommends Virocop. I do recommend Virocop. Unfortunately, no one uh, recommend Chaos Engine to us today, but, um... Maybe next time. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he's got little idle animations, too. Watch him. I'm watching. See? Yep, Aww. there he goes. Excellent game. Thank you, Uzi. <laughs> Move on to our final two games. Next up is WizKid from Feltemp Reparatio. Let's see how this is. I hear this is a sequel to WizBall. Oh. You know your WizBall? I do not know anything about WizBall. My balls are not Wiz. You're very nice to have not pointed out that I didn't have the chat up on the screen. I didn't want to... I don't want to backseat uh, stage manage this you, my, This is my first time running a stream. <laughs> I appreciate it. Well, which of these balls are we going with? We should go with the British balls. I, I like all those balls. Thank you, Feltemp Reparatio, who gave out a sub to Barney FF. Thank you so much. Nice, thank you. My voice is cracking. Ah. I hope we can do this game justice. Ah. We do love our Sensies. The Sensible Software Company. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, I am turning. I'm, I'm the seagull that Danny killed earlier. You've lost 30 points for killing me. <laughs> Damn it. Turn this up a little bit for the folks. So you can hear the stirring rendition of the War of 1812. The 1812 overture. Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> oh, there's a DOS version of this game. Cool. I like this a lot, Danny. This is a great intro. You think the last blast is gonna shoot him? I hope it does. Like, right in his ass. Alright, we're being told this game is amazing, but totally impenetrable, so have fun, Danny. Wow! Oh my god! Gory as fuck. I'm gonna throw up. What the fuck is up with the Amiga? It's the story of Whizball 2. Hey, hey, Amiga? Are you okay? I did the thing again. <laughs> Let's see if we can beat Archibald, Smithers, and all the other people who are better at this game than me. This is a lowbrow art game, huh? Hi, BD. Well, I'm here to learn. Okay. <laughs> no, he's like me. Oh, 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 all right. So you just ram your character into things. I can deal with that. Whoops. <laughs> All right, hit it. I see what they meant. There. Oh, maybe I have to go. No. As hard as possible, just... Yeah, I, I get it. Let's move on. No, no, I want to move on. Let me start the game. There you go. You got a bubble! A multi-nasty. I do love that they call bad guys in uh, in the UK nasties. I find that very charming. I also love your, your, your crazed face. I got a clown nose. Oh, I can juggle when I'm a clown. Oh! This is so weird. It's kind of like Arkanoid, only if you controlled the ball instead of the paddle. Yeah, that's very interesting. That's a different way of doing this kind of game. Hey, I don't like your teeth now. Well, too bad. I want them to please remove your teeth. Ah. No! Dang, don't do that! Oh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Hail Britannia. I right, one last thing. I like that kitten. I like the outfit it's wearing. I like this music. What is this? This is good. Oh shit. <laughs> well, you died a gory death. That was cool. Mm -hmm. Hey, I kind of dig this. This is neat. I like that really weird background. I have only one question. Yeah. What drugs were they on? Um, let's just say ecstasy. Yeah. Sorry if people in the UK do drugs other than ecstasy. All I know is that. Oh, gotta take out the roof. You gotta take out the bees house. Fuck you, bees. Sorry if you're in the UK and you do drugs other than ecstasy. That penguin died a bloody death. Everything dies a horrible death in this game. Yeah. This is the mature Arkanoid. Big whiz nuts? <laughs> let's, let's bust all the big whiz nuts. <laughs> Can I bite things? No, not yet. There we go. <laughs> I'm taking these nuts. Yeah. This is fun in a stupid way. I don't know why this, this is fun. Looks, this actually looks really fun. I can't even begin to tell you what the appeal of this is, but it is definitely appealing to me. Why do I like this? Jeez. Jeez, it's bloody. That's so fucking violent. Just... 
Yeah, you're not hearing much from me. I'm just enjoying the game. Yeah, we don't. We don't. Have, I don't have any commentary. I don't have any goofs. Like it should be. Ups. It should be too simple to be fun, right? But no, it kind of is. Just the way that they applied physics to these items makes it fun. I think the fact that they can interact with enemies, the fact you have all these power ups. Yeah, this game is a whole vibe. Yeah, that's what I like about it. The vibe. I don't know, I would say that the blood is not a sensible amount of blood. There's quite a bit of blood. <laughs> I would think they're being quite unsensible about the amount of blood in this game. <laughs> but that's just me. A, a prude American. Pay me no mind. Yeah, take that butterfly. And destroy your house again. The only power-up I want is the one that lets you pick up things in your mouth. It's weirdly satisfying. I like that. I like when you're biting down on it. Mm-hmm. Back to the nuts. Ah, oh, now you can, now you can juggle, baby. Get him! I'm juggling. Oh god, look those me, bees look are me dying horribly! These, I'm juggling these nuts. <laughs> Where'd you go? That bee is like, I'm just gonna stick down here. Yeah. Nice! Get that money! Get Man, paid. I'm good at this. Look at you! Look at you juggle your nuts! <laughs> Had to be on purpose. Yeah. You, know. you, you, you Brits know your, your nut humor. Mm -hmm. The birthplace of Mr. Peanut. That's what the UK is known as. Wait, is that where... You're lying. Yeah. Yes, I do! Um. Uh. Sure. Oh, oh, okay. I see. I get you. I get what you're picking up. Oh, this is cool. Oh, I just need. No. Oh, I like this. This is such a cool idea for a little, uh. Oh, no! <laughs> I think I screwed myself. This is clever as shit! I like this! This is neat! It's just Scrabble. Yeah, but, but regardless. It's, but it's... it's our Scrabble. Yeah, it goes between... yeah, there you go. Banana apple! It's making me use my brain. I don't oh, like it. Oh man, we can't use our brain. Am I stuck here? Maybe. Two, one. Yeah, I'm stuck. Eight. Unlucky. Well, in between juggling nuts, you can solve little crossword puzzles on a Scrabble board. I'm seeing this being, uh, I'm seeing this being, uh, mentioned multiple times, and this is just, uh, the folks at Sensible Software being very bored and putting in whatever they wanted. It sure seems like it. Yeah, that's the vibe I'm getting. <laughs> it doesn't feel like they started with a game design. It was just like, okay, you gotta be able to juggle nuts. As long as we got that, we're fine. Okay, how about you be a clown, and that's how you juggle the nuts. Oh, I love juggling my nuts as a clown. <laughs> Nothing sensible here. That basically sums it up. Well, thank you, Fel Temp. That thank was a game you. I had no idea existed, and I'm pretty happy that I know about it now. But we're going to finish things up with a game that people actually have heard of, for sure. Courtesy of Solar Panels, our last game of this evening is Worms, the Director's Cut. Ooh! I'm going to try to set up a competitive game between me and Alex. I'm going to fail. Baby, good luck. Thank you. Who knows Worms? Um, I do. I actually enjoy worms, but I'm not good at it at all. Me either. Great! We're both gonna fail. Mm hmm God, I love failing. So this is a game about armies of killer worms battling each other for supremacy. It's in the style of Scorched Earth or Gorilla.BAS, if mm -hmm. you're familiar with uh, DOS. Mm-hmm. That's how I'm familiar with this. Whoa. Oh, I don't like its, its nose. Fuck is blue. Oh, maybe I should have... Never mind. Don't worry about Blue, it. Blue, but they were talking about the button on the controller. Oh, there's a... There you go. Timmy. 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 
Alright, what's your name? I'm going to be... Oops. Team Dan. Yeah. Captain is Danny. Worm 2. Digby. I am me. I don't like your, I don't like your uh, multimedia heavy lineup. Uh, who should be my last guy? Um, I think it should be, uh, God, uh, Willie Beamish. Jimmy White. Okay, or Jimmy White. Now don't worry, Alex also has a team. Okay. Team Alex. Team, team Al. Ale. Team Al. Team Al. Um, Alex is the captain. Mm -hmm. Uh, Worm 1 is, uh, Jimmy. Jimmy W. I have Jimmy on my team. You can't have two Jimmys. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Uh, number one is Alf. That's what uh, I like it. Number two is uh, <laughs> Angela Anaconda. So just put AA. And number four is um, the Snook of the Meat Show. So just put meat. You had so many suggestions from the chat. People were begging for you to include. Oh, I wish I said Mr. Boop. Oh, Mr. Boop <laughs> is there in spirit. Did they save those games? Let's, let's see. I'm pretty sure they did. Okay. Yeah, here we go. Ah, good, good. We're all here. Sorry, I, I'm, I'm a little hungry, so I'm, my brain is working about as well as you'd think. I'm also hungry. We're hungry for worms. What's this level looking like? It's a jungle out there. This looks stupid. Give us another level. Danny! No, I will be fed after the show. This looks good. Okay, that's better. I'll be fed after the show as always. It's my fault for not having a snack before the show. <laughs> uh, meat from Schnickums and meat not looking so good. And you play this with... Oh, the keyboard. Well, you have a keyboard. Hey, I sure do. Okay, so I think this is me, right, Danny? I'm pretty sure, because Alex is just standing over there doing nothing. So you use the arrow keys, left and right to move, up and down to aim, and then you hold the fire button to decide your strength. So I'm just gonna do a little bit of this. Watch this! <laughs> Me. Okay, alright, so... And now Alex gets his turn. The the button is the space key. Is that the one that does the... Mm -hmm. Otherwise you could just move around with left and right and up and down. Oh no! I killed you! No, I no, I didn't kill you. I only hurt I am mean. Oh no, I hurt you both. Okay, cool. Digby, it's your turn. Alright, Digby. In prime, <laughs> prime positioning here, Digby really has a lot of options. <laughs> Digby is going to kill meat from Schnookums and Meat. The Schnookums and Meat show. Everyone's favorite Disney product. <laughs> Oh shit! There oh, we go. No. I got you. You also got I am mean pretty hard there. So does anyone know how to change weapons, or do uh, we have extra weapons? Because there's a lot of different stuff you can use. You can use ninja ropes, banana bombs. I'm gonna press shift and see if enter. Oh, enter does that. Enter lets me hop. It's st you stepped on a landmine. Great. Um, right click. Right click does switching weapons. So it does, so it does. Oh, sucks ass, man. What are you gonna home in on? Eh? Oh, maybe you need to pick a target. Yeah, you have to pick a target. Yeah. Yeah, I've never played much of Worms, but this is a good time to start, I think. <laughs> Yeah! Oh! oh, meat from the Schnook of the Meat Show. All that right, Angel All right, Angela Anaconda. Do you want to switch weapons? Uh, I want. Okay, I'll pick one for you. No, no, God! What do you want? Uh, I, I, uh, actually, I don't want to switch weapons, but actually, no, pick a homing missile for me. Okay. Okay, mm -hmm. and then I want you to select, um, um, move. No, no. Jay White. Jimmy White, your time has oh, come. What's, what's Jimmy White ever done to you? What hasn't Jimmy White done to me? What's, what does Hop enter? I think so. All right. 
you don't have much tactical position here, That's but okay. we'll try. The the weapon can turn itself around. So. Oh yeah, true. Just shoot it right up in the air. Yeah. Die. See? <clears throat> Okay, some glancing damage, but that's eat, okay. Eat shit, Jimmy. <laughs> Look, he's good at snooker, not not playing worms. Well, maybe Jimmy should get good at worms. Maybe Jimmy should be an expert... Dragon Ball? Dragon Ball? Fucking nerds! Handguns, Uzi... Let's do a sheep. Are you really gonna do a sheep? Yep. Who do I want a sheep? Um, not me. I'm a good man. So I think this is a pretty typical... God damn it, I stepped on a landmine. So much for my turn. It's a pretty typical max match between people who are inexperienced in worms. It's a fairly simple game with a lot of depth to it, uh, mostly involving angles. Sure. Okay. You're just gonna point blank me? Yeah. Ha! I lived. How'd that only get you for that much? Oh. <laughs> Oh, you're I play blank shoe and you're fine. You're in fucking trouble now. Yeah, I'm dead. You're gonna you dragon are in ball so my ass. So much fucking trouble. Oh, it just makes me want to play worms. Yeah, worms. Worms, believe it or not, is pretty fun. The hype is real. No, no, I wanna. Okay, this could go bad if I really keep jumping. No, it's okay. Keep jumping. No. Okay. Good luck, sweetie pie. There you go. Die. Oops. Well. Now I, I am mean can be free. I got close. Get him, Alf! Get him, Alf! Alright. Do you want um, a different weapon? No, I think I'm good. Okay. Yeah, the default bazooka in general is pretty good. You just have to worry about wind. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Digby will do what he can. Digby, you're 16 ounces of fun. How can you sheep someone? Oh. Okay, good luck. Do the sheep. A uh, homing missile, if you could. Oh, that poor sheep. That sheep is gone. That sheep didn't stand a chance. All right, and if you could do me a solid and click on good old Jimmy. Sorry, Jimmy. And do. All right, Jimmy. I think this is it for Jimmy. I think we're going to see Jimmy go down. <clears throat> this could be it. Yep, Jimmy is a dead man. <laughs> Take your snooker skills elsewhere because they don't you apply shit, here. Jimmy. You are an X worm. We got some weapons. Yeah, there's occasional weapons drops to let you <laughs> resupply. Yeah. What I am mean, uh oh you got some mad cows, that's good. Let's do that. Give me the mad cows. Uh where are they? Oh oh my god! There's a lot of weapons. Oh Jesus. Smack <laughs> There's so many. There's a mad cow, I see it now. All right, uh, I guess I'm a goner. Yeah, assuming I can get him to work. Okay. How do you use a mad cow? Uh. I assume it's like a sheep, but, you know. Is that uh, you? Yeah, I think that's me. Funny if it's not. <laughs> oh. Ah, fuck's sake. All right, fine. Wow. And the instant replay. That was impressive, though. That was amazing. Danny bringing back the pure ah, name. Ah, Danny's dead. Taking it to heart and going scorched earth. Alf? The only living people are Alf, Angela, Anaconda, and <laughs> one member of my team, I'm pretty sure. Um, could you get me a homing missile? Yeah, sure. Oh, I don't have any anymore. That's fine. Yeah, you're um, all out. That's fine, I'll just use my grenade launcher. I don't know who's still alive. I think I'm on that little island down there. I think so, too. Wow. Oh, I Am Mean is still alive with eight hit points. <laughs> How is I Am Mean still alive? They call him a survivor. Holy 
Holy shit! Ain't nobody can stop I Am Mean. Oh my god! Well, I Am Mean... I Am Mean, we're all gathered in one place for you to murder our ass. Can do. I hit a piece of scenery. I hit a piece of scenery. And it and it blew up an I am mean's face. I win! Team Hell! Meat from Schnickles and Meat, Angela Anaconda, Alf, all your worst nightmares from my childhood have come here to bring you pain. And they certainly have. The nightmares of the 90s have killed Danny. And on that note, I can think of no better way than to end the stream. Congratulations, Alex. Uh, you won thanks to my ineptitude. Here's your here's your precious mouse. Oh my god. you've friend. won in this in, in this free for all worms match. How do I get out of here? You, just a uh, middle click. Oh, thank you. Let's get out. All right. Wow. Well, that's the Amiga. So many games, so many different styles of games. We saw <laughs> RPGs, we saw adventure games, arcade shoot 'em ups, uh, isometric action games, mm -hmm. whatever the fuck Valhalla was, and just generally a whole mishmash of different genres, different developers, different regions. Mm -hmm. I feel like I got a little bit better acquainted with the Amiga. I didn't think that would happen at the start of the stream. I was just kind of like hoping for the best. But in the end, we played such a broad variety of games that I feel like, yeah, the Amiga, it's pretty cool. It is cool. I had a really good time with that. It's more than just barbarian games, folks. It's got mm -hmm. worm games. It's got, it's got a spinning image game and everything in between. Oh, man, that was fun. Thank you again to our patrons for all those great suggestions. That yeah. was really fun. We're done here. Cut, to, we cut to the end. All right, we've got our friend Virocop. Who it turns out his name is Dave, I guess. Hey, Dave. How you doing? Thanks. Thank you so much for having a good game thanks, for Dave. us. Thanks, Dave. And thanks to our patrons, all of you who suggested games for us to play tonight. Uh, again, if you didn't see your game featured, good news, you picked a platformer. So we're going to play it on Friday at mm -hmm. 8 p.m. Central. We have a lineup of seven Amiga games coming this Friday. I'm going to spoil one of them. What? This isn't going to mean anything to you, Alex, but it'll mean something to some people. One of the games is Top Banana. No. No, it's not. No, it's not. Shut up. I so know it. Be... This does mean something to me. No. We're going to play that. No. We're going to play a couple of good games, and we're going to play a couple of games inspired by serial mascots, Hanna-Barbera characters, and more of your favorites. It's going to be a time, so please tune in this Friday at 8 p.m. Central. We're going to... That list is going to be populated with so, so many weird games by the time we're done with it. I'm I agree. No banana. To. No banana. We're not doing it. I refuse. <laughs> Once again, thanks to our patrons. If you want to join in the fun, head to patreon.com slash retropals. If you're at the $5 tier, you get access to our weekly polls. And occasionally, I'll go apeshit and ask for suggestions for what to play. I think this worked out about as well as it could. We could have gotten some truly esoteric stuff that would have just been completely unplayable. But as it was, we got, like I said, a generally good mix of genres, regions uh, developed these games in. Mm -hmm. We played a pool game, a worm game all the different games. Well, you got worms, you got pool, what else do you need? And through that, we gained a better understanding of the Amiga, and I mm -hmm. thank you all for it. Uh, we'll be back on Friday. Alex, take it away, wrap us up. I'm gonna look for a host. Okay, we're also on YouTube, youtube.com slash retropals. We post highlights of our streams there, including our latest one, which is part two of our look at face. If you like, uh, if you like some kind of- If you like faces. If you like faces, do I have a highlight for you? But yeah, if you're looking for more info on, uh, face the, the the folks who did uh whatchamacallit um a lot of really interesting pc engine and turbo graphics games do check that do check that out and also just check out our youtube anyway it's youtube what more can you say <laughs> it's youtube also on twitter twitter.com slash retro pals hq we post when we go live there along with uh alerts to when we're gonna go live that day like hey we're gonna stream today so pay attention to us thank you and um we also post when we have uh, new stuff available on YouTube and other places. So do check that out if you want to follow us on the social medias. I don't know why I said it like that. Like I'm in 2000. Just say on, on Soch. That's what they say now. Follow us on Soch. They say that? Uh huh. Oh man, I'm way behind. I okay, am... I got a question. Who's yeah. the mole? Who's been feeding our stream plans to Duke Donuts? Because last <laughs> week. <laughs> We ended up playing PC Engine games, and mysteriously he was playing uh, Magical Dinosaur Tour. This time, guess what? He's playing Amiga games on real hardware, showing us up. 
just <laughs> just being like, oh, well, I got real hardware, so of course the stream's going to be better than the Retro Pals. Danny. I, I got no choice here. Um, you gotta host them. Another alternative you may have, it looks like it looks like Games Done Quick is doing a blind race of Pac-Man 2. <laughs> But honestly, they, they have enough viewers. They, they don't need our help. So go enjoy Duke. Go enjoy some real Amiga hardware with real Amiga games. And thanks for watching. We'll see you later. See ya, folks.